Although it's generally not hard to refactor decorator-based inputs to signal inputs, if you have a large application, you might need to make hundreds of little changes across many different files. But thanks to ng extension and once again, Chao Tran, we can use this convenient schematic to do most of the work for us. This has been very conveniently timed for me because I am currently working on migrating a rather large Angular application to use all of the new Angular features, and this schematic has saved me a ton of time. The only real downside is that I could have spent time listening to a podcast or something whilst mindlessly making hundreds of tiny edits to files, but it's also nice just having your work done instantly for you as well. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you the big app, but conveniently for subtle promotional purposes, I can show using this generator to update one of the applications from my Angular course. Before we begin though, we should keep something important in mind. When using schematics or generators or recursive search and replace commands that you got ChatGPT to write for you, it's always a good idea to make sure you have all of your work committed or at least backed up somehow so that if things don't quite go as planned, you can always easily revert the changes. So once you have your application opened and have ng extension installed, there are three ways you can run this schematic. There is the YOLO method, which will run the schematic on everything. But if you want, you can also target a specific project with the project flag, or you can target just an individual file by supplying the path to that file. The schematic can be run in an NX workspace too if you just swap out ng with NX. Make sure to give this section of the documentation a read to understand what the schematic will and won't do. Specifically, note that it won't convert input setters and whilst it will update the usage of the input in templates, you might need to watch out for errors due to type narrowing. So let's run this command and see what happens. Now, as the output recommends, you definitely want to check everything over to make sure it works as you expect. Ideally, you would have a test suite you can run to verify everything is working as expected, but if not, the work is still going to be a whole lot easier than needing to do everything manually. Keep in mind that the formatting of your files might be a bit wonky, so if you are using Prettier, for example, you could just run this command from within the app to format all the files in your project. So now we can see that most of the inputs in the application have been updated. The usage of those inputs in the template has also been updated and we still have the appropriate configurations in terms of required inputs and types defined. However, we can also see that in this case where I was using an input setter that sets a signal, no changes have been made and we would need to update that one manually. This schematic is just one of many great utilities in NG Extension, so go check it out if you haven't already. And if you like these videos, feel free to drop a like or subscribe before you go.